What's up, YouTube? This is my tutorial on jail breaking the iPod Touch with the processor 4.1. It's pretty simple and easy to do. I'm showing you step by step instructions. Alright, so first, you go to wherever you have, right? Whatever web browser is what I mean. You click on green and you type in green poison. First one on the list. And then you're going to come to the screen. By the way, all links will be in the bottom in the description as well as the annotation so here it is you pick there's three operating systems for me I need Windows because that's the one I have and if you're using Mozilla it's gonna pop up and you, you click on save file and it's gonna take probably not even a second because it's so the file is so tiny not even a half a megabyte and you use WinRAR to open it and then as you can see you open it and then it says green it says green poison please power off your device and connect it to begin you don't actually have to turn it off I don't know why it says that but you click on prepare to jailbreak and then a countdown starts you go through this I'm not gonna actually do it right now but you have to go through all these steps and it will re your iPod will restart after this is ready you should get a little white icon such as this so what actually I'm gonna I'm gonna do what the video t uh, what the instructions tell me to do to jailbreak it and I'll do it with you just so nobody gets confused okay so you open up the file alright prepare to jailbreak it says get ready to start here's my iPod and it says to press and hold and sleep on it. And then press and hold with the home button as well. And then you release the sleep on it and you keep holding the home button. And then it should restart. And then you release the sleep on it and you should keep holding the home button for about 15 seconds. And they have little timers as you can see. And everything goes according to plan. And then it's going to have this. It's gonna tell you to connect to iTunes, and that's what that's. It's gonna take a little while, and that's. It's gonna take a little while, and after that, it's gonna have a little loading screen, and everything's gonna work out. And it's pretty simple. You will get a little white icon. This is loader, and you click to install. To install. To install Cydia. See, for some reason, since I have both a phone in my hand, which is what I'm using to do the video, I messed up. So now I have to redo it. It says, please power off your device and connect it to. Get ready to start. Hold. I'm getting ready. Okay. Hold the sleep button for two seconds. And then continue holding sleep and press the home button for 10 seconds. A couple more seconds. And then you release the sleep button. While you're still holding the home button, and and then it's gonna your iPod's gonna be off. Meanwhile, on Green Poison, it says "Ready to Jailbreak" in letters that it's not really a, it's not a button. It just says "Ready to Jailbreak." And then on the little button, you click you tap "Jailbreak," and then you can hear the sounds. Whatever, mine's pretty deep because I have some woofer. And here you see the iPod screen turning all white Apple I love it mm -hmm. iTunes and on the actual green poison it says on the little thing I'm not sure if you can see it that well it says gel breaking and three dots and as you can see in the little bar everything's moving it's, everyone's happy and in a few seconds my iPod should Oh, there it is. A creepy thing, and it's really fast, and looks cool. And that's the actual process of channel printing. It's gonna wait a little while, just like two minutes or something. And it's gonna go. And it's gonna go pretty quickly. 
you really shouldn't pay attention to what it says there, and it's not really for nor for average users that don't understand computer terms. Sometimes it says warning, and people right away turn it off and stop jail breaking, which is just pointless. And everything works out fine. It's gonna work great. I had my jailbreak iPod for like a month. Great apps, great everything. It was perfect. I just restarted it because I see people with their tutorials and it pisses me off because they expect you all to be scientists and know how to do everything. This is step by step, easy. And if you don't understand the actual video, I'm going to have all the steps in the description. So even if your internet's slow, you don't even have to watch the video too. It's going to be in the description. So click on slides unlock and you click on loader since where I'm sitting I don't have Wi-Fi I'm gonna pause this video you're not even gonna notice it pause this video and I'm gonna go where there is and back so now that I'm in a room with this Wi-Fi I go and connect you all know how to do that and if you don't I will be making a video shortly on how to get used to your iPod which is Pretty much pointless, but some people find it helpful. Wi-Fi. Okay. Connecting to my home internet. And then I go to this loader. Error. Please make sure. This could take a little while, because the internet is pretty slow around here. It's going to take a little while to, to connect to it. Alright, so connect it, and then click on City and you click on install studio it's going to be downloading the actual studio file up to 80 it should be pretty quickly and it might stop it's good that in this situation it didn't it's all working out fine extracting and then you can get a little warning sign do you want to remove motor yes it is pointless unneeded just trash click on home button and you have motor I'm guessing I no empty is good it's gonna restart as usual. I thought likes to do that. And okay. Okay. And this is this is just giving the video on on how to jailbreak it. And I will be making a video in maybe a day, maybe two, on how to install installations, maybe even today I'll make it. And it will be on my page, and be descriptive as usual, with annotations and descriptions. So you can see, Cydia, for those who are not computer savvy, or hacker savvy, or anything like that, you click on user when it wants to know what kind of user you are. So all in all, getting a jailbreak is very helpful and very useful. Free apps is great, and I will be showing how to do that.